Hello, Pokemon. Yes, the last of Ash's journey that we're gonna follow at least. Episode 3. And well, as we can see right here, Ash and Misty have are in a city. And if I remember from the preview last week, they were gonna run into Cillian and Brock, I think. Uh, and yeah, we'll see. Uh, I hope this episode is better than the last week's episode because I think last week's episode wasn't very good. And man, like, I don't want the last thing I see of Misty with Ash to be a bad episode. I want it to end on a good episode. Uh, and I do think that maybe this will be the last we see of Misty. Um, I, part of me hope it is. Because I kind of want Ash to meet all of his companions, you know. Uh, kind of like how it seems that he's doing. He's switching up all his Pokemon for every episode. I kind of hope he will do it with his companions as well. So this episode we're going to get Misty, Brock, Cillian. And then maybe Misty will leave. Then... Well, who knows? But... I'm... Semi hyped, so <coughs> oh, get some Clementines, Ash. Oh, even some puffins. It's gonna be Brock. Is here to cook. Okay, so he's a manager. Okay. It's like, uh, you know what? I'm trying out being a manager. <laughs> All right, I mean she is good looking and we know how you are <laughs> Oh well Brock's like eh, you know what I'm gonna be destroyed and time for me to leave <coughs> All right, well poor Brock Oh yeah, I completely forgot. I mean, they're showing the Larvitar, lar but I don't re remember Ash ever catching a Larvitar. I, obviously, there was like a side story in Johto. Uh, with Ash and the Larvitar and transfer... Trans... Transferring? Like... Letting, getting it back to its mother. I remember that. <coughs> because like he found an egg, if I remember correctly. I find it weird that they're showing that. Like might as well show the bee drill, Ash caught. You know, in Johto as well. But I do like that they're showing, like, his basically from his entire story in the intro, that it isn't just Kanto. You know, they're only showing, you know, the Kanto companions. So maybe Ash is gonna end up traveling with Brock and Misty only? You know, come on. You know, it isn't like Professor Ivy. <coughs> I 
And here is Celian. Yes, it is me, the one and only. I will say, I think Celian is an okay companion. I didn't dislike him, but I didn't think he was like amazing. But it was okay. <laughs> Despair? What? I'm also one of the fantastical sisters. Dent. Like, uh, well, my Pokemon will send itself out. She's like, wait, what? Are you gonna eat my Pokemon? <coughs> like, just return. Like, I don't want to hear how we are perfect for each other. You're like, oh, Brock, I've met you before. If I remember correctly, that episode he's talking about with um, in Johto, was it when they were like calming down a Gyarados together? <laughs> I mean. You know, maybe Silen is the better one. I would be like, I come on, Ash, you've traveled with Brock a lot. But it could be that, you know what? Ash hasn't really traveled with Brock for a long time. And, you know, Silen befriended Brock after. So their friendship is a bit newer. Of oh, heartbreak. I mean, you should go back to the battle frontier, Brock. There is a girl right there who likes you. Or who liked you, who knows how it is now. <coughs> uh, but that Pokemon is mind-breaking him. Maybe it saw that, ah, oh, he's... You know, he's sad. I don't want him to be sad. <sighs> Come on, Psyduck. Use your psychic. You know, now when you have a headache. You can become even stronger. <laughs> so why is it luring Brock? At first I thought it was just, you know, because it didn't like him being sad. But now I think it has ulterior motives, like other motives. And I want to see what Pokemon Ash, does Ash have with him, come on. Like, I'll find out the truth. <coughs> Which means... <coughs> like, well, we could have guessed that.
I mean, if that is something that people think about, like maybe that is a Pokedex entry for that Pokemon. I want to say it's called Hatterene in English, but I'm not sure. I've never used it. I've never used this Pokemon, so. Like what they. Like a Brimion in uh, Japanese, but. Oh, hello. <coughs> so maybe that one is taking Brock in to take care of, you know, its babies, maybe. Oh god, I'm like freezing. I mean, I will say so far I'm pretty bored of this episode. This to, this episode to me feels like a filler episode in Johto, funnily enough. Like a Johto filler episode is what this feels like. Which I wouldn't mind that much if it was, you know, a normal Pokemon series. But this is the last, you know, like 10 or however many episodes we have left, you know, of Ash. And this is the episode we get. I don't know, like, I feel like all the episodes should kind of like... Not be this. It should be kind of like how the last two episodes were. Even though I didn't like the last week's episode, I still think it did its job as a episode to make people feel like, like, ah, oh, you know, Ash is leaving, but they're filling us with nostalgia, you know. This right here just feels like a normal Pokemon episode. And not a good normal Pokemon episode. Just a filler episode. <coughs> mm. <coughs> Brock. Come on, Ash. Throw out your Pokemon. Show us. Come on. Like, we're almost done with the entire episode. And we haven't seen any of Ash's Pokemon. Other than Pikachu. Come on. I want to see the whole, you know, the gang. You know what this feels like? It feels like a thrown out journeys episode. It feels like this was supposed to be a journeys episode, but I thought, ah, you know what? It's it's even too bad for journeys, you know. And journeys was very bad. Um, this is even too bad for that. So let's push it in here. Like, yeah, sure, I mean, that is a cute thing, you know, oh, she's still afraid of bugs, but... Uh, this episode has already lost me. Like, I care more about the Clementine I'm eating than the Pokemon episode in front of me. Ah, oh, a bunch of water Pokemon. Oh, 
Oh. The train guys, yeah, because he's a train otaku. I only have three more slices. I'm gonna have to slow down. Oh god, and it doesn't help that, like, it's super cold as well. Or I just feel very, very cold at the moment. Um, it is 20 Celsius in my room, which tends to be okay for me, but I know today, very cold. I guess they had strong emotions for the boss. Oh, it's a nightmare! Turn into bug types. Well, at least you all ended up at the same place. Oh god, how long do we have left of this fucking episode? Seven more minutes. I can't believe that this is an episode that we're getting. I mean, I would say even for a journey's episode, journey level, this would be bad. And the fact that this is, you know, aimed to be a Pokemon Master, you know, the last that we get of Ash. It just makes it worse! What the fuck? I can't believe this shit. <clears throat> yeah, let's try and find out why. I mean, I just told a story, but it doesn't mean that it's true, right? About the witch. Like Chinese whispers. <clears throat> fuck me. Like, what the fuck is happening? Um, is this really... Like, what I'm watching, this must be a simulation. I must be under the control of, you know, I'm gonna call it the Hatterene. And it is playing with me. That, ah, you have a Pokemon aim to be a Master episode. And I'm like, oh man, that's so great. No, actually, this is, a, but this is how the episode is. And then I feel complete dread. <laughs> what? Man, this should really have been about Ash and his Pokemon, like... Because it... It is kind of like they'll heard what I've been complaining about. Oh, Steelix. So is this how they're gonna show Ash's, all Ash's Pokemon? By Ash battling Ro Brock. <coughs> ah, or maybe not. I don't remember what that monkey is called. But... I remember liking it in the show.
Bug's like, wait a minute, this guy is protecting this Pokemon. <coughs> I'll protect her. Oh god, come on. And then using it as a human shield. Or using her as a shield, I guess. See, like, I don't give a fuck. She's like, okay. <coughs> now I feel happiness. The emotions I'm sensing. <coughs> Maybe. She's like, thank you for, you know, bringing my mood down. I was feeling some... Is it called PMS? Like food, uh, mood fluctuations. Like that Pokemon is bipolar. Oh, we didn't even get to see the Pokemon Ash have with them. What the fuck? I can't believe it. The one thing I've complained about the first episode and the second episode is the fact that you know all the Pokemon Ashes him they don't get the screen time they need, you know, and let their personality show. But at least those first two episodes at least showed those Pokemon. Even if I think they did a very bad job at giving them, you know, the time that they need to truly be like, ah, uh, to show that Ash is a great Pokemon trainer, you know, friends with his Pokemon. This episode, we didn't even get that. Uh... I'm trying to think of any positives on this episode that isn't just, ah, we got to see Brock and Cillian and Misty again. Other than that, I have zero positives. Uh, so actually, I would probably consider this as a normal Pokemon episode if I did, weren't thinking that this was the last, you know, little thing that we're going to get of Ash, which I think they should... Completely bombard it with nostalgia bombing. And they should really show... You know, Ash working with his Pokemon. That's just it. <coughs> uh, with all of his Pokemon, that is. Not just Pikachu. Uh, if I were to ignore all of that... I would probably give this a 3 out of 9. You know what, no, actually... Ignoring all of that, Paul give it a 2 out of 9. Uh, but with all of those things in mind, this is like a 1 out of 9 episode. It was just boring. I, I mean, I was more interesting, interested in looking at Clementine slices. To me, that was more fun. Just looking at the Clementine slices and seeing the juices was more enjoyable. I had more like positive emotions for that than I had watching this episode. Okay, and the next episode we're gonna get Ash and the... Um, oh. Well, at least we're gonna see Ash actually show some of his Pokemon next episode, I guess. Uh, but the fact that we didn't even get to see any of his Pokemon this episode Maybe we're gonna, we're gonna get to see Talent Flame, Oshawott, Pikachu, and and uh, Fat Boy, uh, Snorlax. Oh, and um, you know the Luchador Pokemon. Don't remember its name. Incineroar. There we go. Um. But yeah, the fact that we're seeing Misty and Brock here, I think, confirms that they are going to travel with Ash through this entire sh show now. 
until the end. I think that is confirmed uh, by that. Um, and one thing that now I'm like, oh, we're not gonna get to see Ash with all of his Pokemon. But that's not gonna happen. Each of his Pokemon are not gonna get, you know, an episode like episode one and two where they, you know, are part of the main team for the episode. That's not gonna happen. Um, which is too bad. Yeah, man, I have no no positives for this. Hopefully, next week's episode is great. Uh, it could be. Let's hope so. Uh, 